So this is the Panasonic HC VX870 4K video camera. And this is what I'm going to be using on my channel from this point forward. Uh, long story short, I had a Sony uh, camera that I was using for the longest time on this channel and it went bad and I had a backup Sony camera that I'm filming on right now that has been a workhorse on this channel for a while. Now the way I edit videos and post them is not necessarily in sequence from when I filmed them. So sometimes you get uh, footage from the old camera, sometimes you get footage from this camera, but from this point forward you're going to be getting footage from this camera. That's not to say that you're not going to see uh, videos filmed from other cameras on this channel because I have quite a lot of a backlog of, edit, of videos to edit. So, um, but from this point forward any video I edit will be filmed, or not every video I edit, every, ed every video I film will be filmed on this camera right here. So we're going to go through some of the accessories that come with this, but uh, first thing of the day is today is Thanksgiving. And uh, you're probably not watching this on Thanksgiving, and you might not know what Thanksgiving is if you live outside of the United States. Um, Thanksgiving, the long and the short of it is, is that it dates back many, many, many hundreds of years. And uh, in Europe, there was a, a practice of... Uh, feasting when things went good and fasting when things went bad and the feasting part was a Thanksgiving and there were many Thanksgivings uh, here in the United States it has morphed into a time basically where you do feast and you spend time with family uh, for the purposes of my channel here and the reason I bring this up is because I want to make it a an annual tradition to thank people or anybody who has been um, instrumental in the progress of this channel. American Thanksgiving is the fourth Thursday in November. That's when it's celebrated. And the tradition roughly started in the 1600s and it was done to celebrate the bountiful harvest in the fall time. This channel is named Tech Harvest, so we're harvesting technology here. I wanted to give thanks to anybody who has supported this channel. I want to give thanks to you for watching this right now. I want to give thanks to anybody who has donated to me uh, monetarily over the years. I want to give thanks to anybody who shares my videos to spread the word of Tech Harvest. I want to thank anybody who has spent time with me. Most of all, I want to thank Bob Sauer, who has actually monetarily supported this channel for a while, and I'm going to be making future videos on things such as this that pertain to me reinvesting some of the funds that I get from this venture, Tech Harvest, into actual things that will make the channel better. There's a couple other items that I will be doing, and they will start as uh, Patreon videos, and then they will be posted for everybody else to see as well. So enough of all of that, let's get into the meat of this. And this is going to help up the quality of this channel. Now, uh, 4K video, you're probably familiar, maybe you're not, but 4K video is very large in size. So we're gonna see, right now I post videos in 720p. I don't even go to 1080. We're gonna do some experimentation with this camera to see if I wanna do the full 4K videos or if I'm going to do um, of a lower resolution. Regardless of what's going on, I'm gonna have a new camera for the channel here that has a lot of capabilities. One of the other things I have to address is the sound quality uh, in my videos and the lighting quality to give you somewhat of a, a hint as to what some of the other uh, videos are gonna be addressing in the near future. So let's just uh, go over what's on the box here. It has a Leica lens, which is a high quality lens. Of course, we've covered the 4K video, does a 4K photo as well. Wireless twin camera. 
I really don't know what that means, but uh, it is uh, on the box here. HDR movie, so HDR mode, that's good. You can see some of this is in English, some of it is in French. Uh, 20 times optical zoom, level shot function, so that's good. I do have a tripod on this camera here, but uh, if I ever do want to do handheld shots, that's good to have. It has a night mode, which is good. Uh, the camera I'm filming on right now has a night mode, but the one that I was the workhorse for the channel for a long time, the other Sony one, uh, did not have that. And of course, full HD and slow motion video, so that's that's good. So it's a much more fully featured camera than I have been using. These are some of the accessories that you can use here. So um, got a, a tilt cradle, a, a a light, a microphone a wide angle lens conversion kit, carrying case, battery pack, and battery charger. Now it says it works with iMovie and Final Cut Pro. I am not an Apple user anymore. This channel started. Uh, the first, I think, 30 videos of this channel were all edited on Mac, uh, MacBook. But uh, I have since moved on. I was a Mac user for eight years, but uh, I don't really have use for their products anymore. Nothing personal, just uh, I, I kind of like the tinkering availability of other operating systems. So, <clears throat> you also noticed in the unboxing that I have a uh, instruction booklet here. Now, unlike a lot of instruction booklets, I always find that I do refer back to the instruction booklet on a camera. Uh, reason being, this is actually in a different language there, so this is English here. Reason being is because you want to know how to do your white balance. There's a lot of functions to a camera that uh, you want to be able to look up. So I always keep this handy. So first accessory we have here is a lens hood. So you put this on the front of the camera. We'll do that in a bit, but you put this on the front of the camera so that you block out any glare that you might have coming through. It's basically just a piece of plastic. It is durable. It is a good build quality. It's a matte black plastic with the Leica branding here. Um, you shows you how to unlock it. I don't know if you can read it there. Unlock and lock, so you twist it on that way. Again, your Leica branding. It has room for the, obviously, the uh, the lens, and then probably a sensor up front. Next up, we have a shoe adapter. Now, at this point, I don't know if I'm going to be using this, but uh, there's no there's no way to put uh, accessories on this camera as it is right now. So it's kind of stripped down. If you want, you can put this in here, and I don't know how to release it as of yet, but uh, you can snap that in there and then you can add accessories here a lot of the times you'll have some sort of microphone that you'll be able to put in there or a light or something but uh, again this is kind of stripped down for however you want to use it and then you can add these accessories on there this is uh, always going to have to be made of uh, a sturdy construction you have a mixture of metal and plastic on this uh, because you're going to be you know sliding an accessory in here and you kind of want it very stable. So let's put that to the side. I don't know if I'm going to use that, but it's an option and it's nice to have. Next up we have an HDMI cord. Now I'm not going to pull this out. It's an HDMI cord. The only thing that you might notice is that you have a micro HDMI on one end, which will fit into the camera, and a regular HDMI on this end. I really don't think I'm going to use this because I don't think I'm going to be outputting from the camera itself uh, to view things on a television or a monitor. I'm going to transfer this over to my computer and do the uh, editing that way. But there is the micro HDMI port right there. Next up we have a USB cable. So this is micro USB on one end. You can see it right there, and the regular USB on the other end. Now, I haven't decided because I haven't used this camera yet, but uh, a lot of times with the camera I'm filming on right now, what I will do is I'm recording 
to the hard drive in the computer in the camera and then when I want to offload the videos that I've recorded I use a USB cord to connect it to my computer and then offload the videos that way in this case I believe it's only a um, an SD card or a micro SD card in this camera I don't think it has a, a hard drive in it so um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to take that micro SD card out of here there it is actually it's a regular size SD card slot there which doesn't matter because micro you get you just get the adapter for it but um, I haven't decided if I'm going to just remove the SD card and put that into my computer or if I'm going to connect it uh, via USB who knows um, I'm kind of leaning toward just using the SD card, so I'm just going to leave this in its bag here. So next up is the power cable. Now this, I'm going to have to unbag here because I have to power this camera up. Now, most of the time, I like to film off of the battery power even though I don't have to because I film in my house the majority of the time here. I could just plug it in. Right now I'm filming off of a camera that's being uh, that's using the plug into the wall. But that's just because it's an older camera and the battery is um, not, doesn't hold as much of a charge. So I'm going to be using this because I'm going to have to charge up the battery at some point and I'm going to have to use this to do that. Now I don't know exactly where on the camera you plug the camera in, but I don't have a charger that comes with this. So I'm going to assume, there we go. So here's the DC in, it's five volts. You just push this little door open, very smooth. I like that. So this is how you power it up. You're going to plug this right into here. I'll just do it right now. There you go, you can see how that uh, clears the, the chassis of the the camera itself so that's nice I might uh, I might use the camera this way but uh, in order to charge the battery I'm gonna have to take this battery put it on the back here and it probably should be pretty universal how to do this you just kind of put it in and slide it up so then I will be able to charge the battery this way and then obviously use it as one would use a battery now to release the battery, I think it's going to be this little lever here, probably, yeah, right there. There we go. And let's see what we've got here. It's a 1,940 milliamp battery, and it's Panasonic branded. Now, the battery is very basic looking. You've got some grippy sections here. Nothing on the bottom. Another grip section there, because that's where we're going to be holding the battery. You have this arrow here kind of telling you how you put that in. And of course the connector is there. And that's where it connects into. And again, just put it on, slide it up, and you're good to go. So the only other part of this, and I will be using it, is the wall wart. This is, uh, this is branded Panasonic Corporation, made in China. Most everything is made in China. And uh, obviously this is where your USB plugs in here. So let's take a tour around the camera here. Now everything is a textured matte black plastic as you would want it or as I would want it. You kind of don't want uh, any glossy plastics or anything. You kind of want it understated here. Uh, you have the Panasonic branding here which is in a, uh, a metallic decal there as well as the 4k branding there then you have painted on here the model number HCVX870 it is a Wi-Fi enabled camera you have a camera function little uh, wheel down here so we'll see how that actually uh, factors in it says push so it actually clicks in so I don't know if uh, you have to click in and spin it or if uh, you just spin it but uh, We'll see if there's any quirks or anything with this camera or anything uh, in particular that I want to talk about, we will uh, talk about it. But uh, this is getting close to Thanksgiving and I do want to post this video on Thanksgiving, so we'll see. I might have to do a follow-up video, whatever. We'll see. Uh, it has uh, hybrid OIS, or optical image stabilization. You have the 25 times 
iZoom branding up here. Up top, you have a 5.1 channel Zoom microphone. So it's a, it's a windshielded Zoom microphone, and that's this area up here. You can actually see that it has a black mesh metal, and behind that is red. So I kind of like that color combination. Uh, you ha have your volume up and down, which is interesting. So I guess when you're using this in a play mode, you can use the uh, zoom toggle here to uh, put the volume down or put the volume up. But obviously with uh, any camcorder, you're going to have a zoom function on it. Most of them, at least everyone I've seen, uh, you have a wide and a tight shot there. Then you have a dedicated uh, picture button there. On this side, we kind of covered it earlier where you have that uh, DC port there. I actually really like the way that that door works. It's very smooth. And it's kind of weighty, too. So here you have your adjustable camera strap here for your hand. So obviously, I'm not going to use it much as a handheld, although I will at some point. And you want to be able to adjust it when you... Uh, want to use this. Uh, this here is uh, a different kind of textured plastic, matte black plastic. It has these little dots on it. And typically anytime you have a situation sort of like the battery where you want to be able to have more gripping power on it, that's when you have something like that. You do have a small uh, screw there. Hopefully I'll never have to take this apart um, because I don't really have any desire to be troubleshooting a camera. By that time, hopefully, I'll be uh, on to the next camera. Uh, here is a headphone jack here. And all the doors seem very premium thus far. This door and, of course, this door here all seem very premium. On the bottom, again, we kind of covered this before. You have your SD card slot down here. So if you're watching this on Thanksgiving, tomorrow is Black Friday. And typically at Best Buy, they have great deals on flash memory. And I always load up, well don't load up, I always buy a couple of uh, flash cards and, and flash drives on Black Friday. Uh, so I'll definitely have an SD card to put in here. You have your tripod mount down here and this is a, a very sturdy uh, matte black plastic that has these ribs on it here. Again, anytime you want something to be more grippable, you have that there and uh, it'll help it uh, you know, grip onto your, your tripod or wherever you're going to put it. This is your battery release switch here. Uh, we kind of went through that earlier, so I won't go over that again. And back to this side. So the back of the camera here, you have that shoe adapter. We kind of went into that before, how you can kind of put, put that shoe in there. Um, I don't know how you release that. Oh, right here, shoe adapter release. So let's try that out. So if I put the shoe adapter in here, push it in all the way until it clicks. So there you go. You have a way to put accessories on the camera. Um, this typically you'll find it on the top of the camera a lot of the times, but uh, that's fine to put it back here because a lot of the times you can get a, a mic or whatever that's going to extend forward. The shoe adapter release is a little slider here that you push down and just pull that right out again. Of course you do have the battery back here again and there is your record button here. Everything does feel very, the build quality on this feels very good. So let's take a look inside the door here. You have a glossy screen here. I believe it's a touch screen. Most of, the, most of these camera uh, screens are. So some of the branding in here is SDXC, that's for your SD card. AVCHD is the format that it records in. Of course, the shoe adapter release. After a long operation, this device and SD card can get warm. This is not a malfunction. Little, little note there. This is a little rubberized uh, spacer there, so you're not going to actually uh, scratch your screen here. Um, here is your micro USB, your micro HDMI, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for audio and video output. You have a mic input here, which I will be using. Uh, in a future video. Again, another hint for a future upgrade to the channel. Then you have some buttons here. It looks like a um, uh, switching between camera mode and playback mode. 
Um, I'll have to look that one up. You have the Wi-Fi button here, so that'll be interesting if I can transmit my um, my videos off of the SD card without connecting it to anything. I don't know how that's going to work. And then you have a power button here. So that looks like all the ports there. You do have a speaker here, so if you don't do want to do playback to see, you know, what you recorded, you can do that. Let's look up what this button is here. So, like I said, we're going to be referring to this manual from time to time, or at least I will be throughout the life of owning this. Uh, I haven't found out what that button is yet, but I did find out what kind of SD cards you can use on it. You can use a regular SD card at a minimum of 512 megabytes. Uh, you can use an SDHC memory card, or you can use the SDXC, which was branded on the actual device right there. Anyway, back to finding that button. So it looks like I'm going to have to do a follow-up video. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to do the unboxing. In the follow-up video, I will fire this thing up for the first time. So a couple things after reading the instructions here. I don't know what this button does. It doesn't specify in there at all. So it's going to have to be a mystery button that I'll actually use uh, when I actually do a full video on this. Uh, number two, there are versions of this camera that come with a secondary camera right here. Now the interesting thing is, is that I don't have that on this. However, if you remember from the box, it says twin camera wireless ability right here. I don't even know if you can read that there. There you go. Twin camera wireless twin camera. So up here, this is an NFC icon right up there. So you can pair this with your cell phone to use that as a secondary camera and you can actually have a picture in picture of the secondary camera in there. I don't know how I would use that. Um, it is an interesting option. Maybe I want to do that on this channel here where you can actually see me talking uh, and then also see something else going on. So we'll see if I can integrate that into the channel, but that's very interesting. That's what the Wi-Fi is for. There's other things that the Wi-Fi is for. Um, you can do the twin camera, which can be just another Wi-Fi camera or your cell phone. You can transmit the images to a television set that's equipped with it. Or like I said, you can copy the information on this camera to the computer you're going to work on. So let's take a look at the front side of the camera here. First of all, you have this red accent here. It's a metallic um, piece here. I like the way it looks. Uh, you actually have a lens cap here that looks like an eyelid. Not only is it rounded, but it has an upper and lower section. And if you hear me, if you hear anything rattling, that's this here. Other than that, everything feels very solid on this camera. Um, you have a couple other things. You have some of the specs on the lens down here. You have your Leica branding there. Uh, you have a sensor here, and it looks like a sensor here as well. I would imagine that this is the uh, sensor for focusing. Uh, it might also be a light. I can't really tell at this point. But stay tuned. In my next video, we'll figure out all the ins and outs, all the questions that I have about this camera. I might not post it directly after I post this video, but there will be a follow-up video on this camera once I've used it a little bit and I have a little bit uh, more knowledge about the ins and outs of it. Now you'll notice sort of a threading. It's very small, but uh, there is threading around the rim here on the inside, and that's where this hood actually screws into. So we might as well end this video or wrap things up with putting this on here. So it kind of snaps into place there. It doesn't snap on because it'll fall right off. You have to screw it on. So remember we had the lock and unlock directions. So that would be clockwise. So um, just kind of twist this and it's screwing that on to the inner portion of the front of the camera there and just keep going keep going there we go so it kind of just screws into place there and of course when you have plastic on plastic like this you don't really want to have uh, you don't want to tighten it down too much so let's see i'm just going to make it to where it kind of stops that's pretty good and that's strong there so you can see but that's what it looks like with the hood on there pretty cool we'll see if i keep the hood on or if i'm 
fine without it. So that's going to do it for this video. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you want to help out my channel, you can give me a thumbs up. You can share this video on your favorite social media, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which is greatly appreciated. So this is going to wrap up my Thanksgiving episode. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank anybody who has supported the channel over the years. And again, I want to thank personally Bob Sauer, who has been a patron on Patreon for quite a while, and uh, he helps keep this channel going. Moral support and financial support. So thank you all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.